Let me ask you a question. How are you today? And the reason I ask it is because it's the sort of thing we say to people as we're walking along the road. More often than not, it'll be, all right, how are you? Something like that. It's a bit vague, don't you think? And when we ask, are we really asking because we want to know? Because I don't know about you, but we tend to live a busy life and we've always got something going on. If you're going out and you're going to the shop, you've got to go and get something. If you're going out and you're on your way somewhere, you've got where you're going on your mind. And so I kind of wonder that when we ask the question, how, whether we really mean it or not, and it got me to thinking that in my own shoes, when people have asked me it before now, there have been times when, to be honest, I felt like crap. But you don't want to say that to people, do you? You kind of just go with the, yeah, I'm fine. And you carry on on your day. But how about the people that you know the people that you see every day, people that you care about. Because for the most part, we don't like to tell people when things are bad. We're quite happy to tell you when it's outstanding and things are really going well. Then it's not a problem. But I kind of think there's a lot of people today who are suffering in one way or the other. And when you ask them how they're doing, they tend to come across with a wishy-washy fine, or okay, not bad. You see, all of those are not the answers of someone who's doing well. And we often ask friends of ours how they're doing. But we ask it in such a way that we don't sound as though we mean what we're saying. When someone's going through a bad time, they often don't feel that you want to hear what's going on in their life. So I think it's important sometimes for us to talk to people and mean what we're saying to them. Spend a little bit of time, a bit of care if you like. Because yes, I know you can ask someone how they are and you can get the answer that well, this and that. And before they start talking, you can tell by their demeanor that it's not gonna be good. And because of that, we sometimes don't ask because we know it's not gonna be good. But just imagine this. In the times when you don't feel great, are there not times when you want to open up and just get it off your chest when you talk about things that aren't going so well? Well, I kind of think that the way the world is going at the moment, there are a lot of people who are worried about what's happening. And there may be a lot of people who've got going, things going on in their life that they really could do with talking to people about. Now I know we're not psychologists and we're not that kind of people. But you know what? You can be just a friend. You can be someone who can just lend an ear. You don't sometimes have to answer even. It's not that... When people start to 
tell you what's really going on in their life. It doesn't mean that they want you to come up with the answer to their woes. Sometimes it's just that someone wants someone to listen to them, to just let them get what they've got to say off their chest. Because the truth of the matter is, for a lot of us, we don't have that person. It could be someone who lives alone. It could be someone whose family just don't understand them. Because there are so many families that are like that. It may be that they're too proud to ask for help. Do you know what? You could be a friend like no other. Because when you ask them, how are you doing? Or how are you feeling? And they're a bit wishy-washy. You can stop, look them in the eye and say, look, how are you really feeling today? You can make a whole of difference to someone's life. You could be the one person who stops somebody doing something stupid. It could be that by you showing an interest in somebody and showing that you care about them, that you don't know what can happen. And I think For all of us today, we pay lip service to the things that we say to people so often. We say things we don't mean. And people can tell, you know. If someone says, how are you doing? And it's just a, all right, how are you doing? You know that they're really just saying hello. But if you look around you, and you know somebody is struggling. Well, I think you should be the one to give them a helping hand. Let them speak. Find out what's wrong with them. You don't have to offer, I've said this already, you don't have to offer answers. That's not what you have to do. What you need to do is just be a friend. If what I'm saying is making sense to you, please like, hit that like button. And you could even use this video. If you've got a friend that you know is suffering, point them to the video. Let them have a look at it and then ask them. How are you really feeling today? Because you just don't know what a good friend you could be. It's just, this isn't something that I've actually gone into depth thinking about. It's just something that struck me this morning. That instead of saying, all right, how are you doing? It's just framing it a different way. And doing it in such a way that the person actually knows you care what you're saying to them. There have been times when I've wanted someone to listen to me. And I'm sure you're the same, you know. Well, you were in that position to do a good deed, to be a good Samaritan, be a nice person because I'm sure you are. And realize that if someone opens up to you, that is such a humbling experience. And you should be honored that someone wants to talk to you. 
its own. That's really all I've got to say about it. It just strikes me that in this day and age, we all rush about, we've all got stuff on our minds, we've all got places to go, people to see, things to do, and it would be nice if you know someone struggling, if you are the person that knows somebody who's struggling, would you go up to and say, how are you really feeling today? And see what comes out of that conversation. I get a lot of people leave comments on here and go into their stories. And I'll tell you what, it's a humbling experience. And it also makes me feel good if I find that these videos are helping anybody. And so what I'm saying is, I'm giving you a chance. Do you know what you could do? When you go into a cafe and you see someone sat on their own and they're looking down and miserable, you could always walk up to them and say, do you mind if I sit here and strike up a conversation? You could also think of somebody that you know that's struggling at the minute and do exactly the same thing. So do you want to meet up? Go out for coffee. Take them out for a coffee and a chat. And then ask them, how are you really feeling today? And see what they've got to say. You never know where it can lead. It could be just a conversation that goes nowhere. However, you could play the role in helping someone's day get much better than it was when they started out. And you know what? You could even make a real good friend out of it. That's about it from me today. If you like that video, please hit that button and feel free to subscribe. And um, if you look up there, there's another video that I think you ought to watch. I'll see you next time.